and even more importantly, Studio Essential. Do, 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 do. Greetings YouTube, it's Multiplier here for part three, nearly messed up the fingers, part three of new studio something or other. Right, what is going on? Basically, as you can see, if you look not at my face, but around the face, you can see I've actually brought most of, well, in fact, my entire old studio. If I do a sort of spin right now, you can see I've brought it into, right, I brought it, it's quite difficult to film like this. Wow, my face is staying exactly the same, that's spooky. You can see I've brought everything from the previous studio. What I was going to do is film the entire process of me, disassembling the old one, throwing it into the car, driving up, doing a little drive, but then I thought that's kind of boring actually, so let's condense it into a four to five second entertaining little clip. It's nothing like the headphones. Da, 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 da. Screwing the table, unscrewing the table. Wasn't that fun fantastic right so what is going on in this video what I thought I'd do is now I have my entire previous studio I'd run you through basically everything I currently own that way you know where we stand I'll then spend the next day or so plugging it all in screwing it together may even film a little bit but yes this video will focus on what I currently have I'll do some pointing some all, all kinds of pointing and yes once the whole studio is built I can then figure out what I want to buy how I want to evolve it get it all configured etc 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 won't that be fun? Da, 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 da. I'm still here even though the camera may have changed very slightly, but that's okay. Let me now get behind the camera, do some point, don't worry, I'll still be here. I may not be in the actual frame, but you'll hear me talking and there's, there's no one else in the room, so just to prove that. There's no, the little spin, there's no one else in the room, therefore, don't worry, I'll still be here, just not actually in the shot as I do the pointing because it's easier that way. Right, cool. Let me show you what I have. Now, you can probably guess what these are. These are desks. This is where you put things on. Normally though, there are legs. These are these little things. You've probably seen these before, tables. Um, but if you've seen a table before, it works a bit like this. What you do is you have the piece of wood right on the floor, but up, upside down, remember? Um, and then you have these leg bits in the corner, somewhere in the corner, not in the corner right now, somewhere in the corner. And then this one's over here. And then if you zoom out, by walking. And then imagine that's upside down. That's what I've got, it's a table, but that's the, the cheapy Ikea one. Let's put that back on the floor. And then also I have another desk, which is a bit more fiddly to put together, but it's heavier and better. And that will be the main one. So this one I'm pointing at now, this one, right. That one will be the main desk that you're currently used to seeing. And then this will be probably the freeform fun zone desk over there. See the flower there. Following with me so far? Wowzers trousers, right, cool. I then have two monitors. One of the monitors will be on the main desk in the center, just around where I'm pointing, obviously, because why else would I be pointing at it? And so yeah, that's gonna be the main monitor. And there's also going to be a second one, identical in the freeform fun zone. So that'll be pretty fun. At least I think I'll keep it there. I'll see if it clutters up the desk too much. We'll see, we'll see. And then after that, we have a laptop on the floor. And there's also a little hard drive. Ooh, bumped into something inside. Lovely little 250 gigabyte SSD. Lovely stuff, the Samsung T3. I'll just place that there. Inside is a MacBook Pro, which is my, it's my main computer. It's the only one I really use. And it's fantastic. It's four years old, but it still runs strong. And then we have an old sound card, the Scarlett 2i2, which I don't actually use anymore, but I may put that in the freeform fun zone as a backup one. There's actually a problem with the mic pre input because I broke it but I think it will still work as a secondary sound card. Maybe if I need it in the freeform fun zone, and that's also why I have my old headphones. Maybe again for the freeform fun zone, we'll see, we'll see. And yeah, let's continue. Let's do a sort of left to, left to right sort of, sort of, sort of left to right sort of vibe. Right, so then you have this guy, the Akai LPK25. It's really dusty, it's dust craze on it, right? Just Upside down, right, right, de dustified. Uh, that's the Akai, bumped into something, Akai LP25, no, LPK25, which is, um, yeah, it's just a little keyboard, a little cheap, cheapy keyboard. Not sure what I'd do with it yet, I don't ever use it, but it looks cool, therefore, it will go in the studio somewhere. And then we have the Tractor Control S4, which is my DJ weapon of choice for the odd occasion that I do the DJing. Um, yeah, I'm just crouching down now, some time, getting old. Standard, standard. And yeah, so that's the Control S4. 
or tractor controllers for all the deck saver, the lovely stuff, an industry standard. A few years old now, but still works a treat. There's a beautiful little cable here. This is a rare limited edition USB cable. Um, I think it came with the MIDI fighter. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Comes with MIDI fighter, buttons, accelerometers, lights and stuff, fantastic. There is my old, what happened there? There is my old anchor USB hub. And this is really, really cool. But this is a, is a powered, look at that sunlight reflection. Beautiful day outside. I'm gonna go on a nature walk pretty soon. Blue skies, 24 degrees. First time all, all year for England because we've had the non, most non-existent summer ever. That's not important, right. It's not really right. So this is the, yeah, this, I should show you some really cool. The reason why I really like this is it's not only just a really well-made USB hub that kind of looks cool, ooh, ooh, looks pretty cool on the desk, but it has Velcro, which I know you can just buy Velcro, but it came with Velcro so you can stick it on the desk and that was going to probably the free form fun zone. So that's pretty cool. Put this back over here. And then we have the, oh, you recognize this. This is an, what's in the reflection? Can you see anything? Probably a window. Right, cool. This is a, let's take this, take this off. Don't need that on there. Deck saver. It's too, okay, it's protecting it too much. Right. This is a, a Ableton push. You know what an Ableton push is. And you, you do push buttons on it. Makes noises and lights and stuff. That's fantastic. I won't get into that. That's an Ableton push. That is the, the, uh, the heart of my studio. I don't really use keyboards, to be honest. Just use that guy, fantastic, bingo bango bongo. Then something I showed you in the previous video, which is this, there it is, M Audio Keystation 88, a long keyboard. Nice when you wanna do sort of things on it, that's really cool. Also looks cool, especially when the sunlight is sort of gliding off it there, so just kind of looks beautiful and when we're getting into that angle, let's get that angle, let's get that angle. Beautiful, actually, better, better from over here. Let's, let's move over here without knocking into storm, knocking into stuff, knocking into stuff. Chaos, 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 right. Right, oh, look at that angle. It's a beautiful, it's a sight to behold that. That's some sort of like magic in a, in a video. So that's, that's pretty cool. Lovely keyboard, looks amazing. Again, I've said that a few times now, but that's because it's important that you look amazing at all times. That is my number one priority as a human being. And then we have, let me show you something you might not recognize, which is this. This is an arm for an alien, so if you're an alien you can use that. Just joking, not really, it's actually a light for a softbox. So inside these boxes are massive crazy daylight bulbs. Um, I'll show you that in more detail in the next video I think. But um, yes, they go in those holes and then there's a, that stuff behind it basically creates the softbox. Um, yeah, so that's going to be my uh, softbox. Not sure if it will live permanently in the studio or not. We will see. Then let me do a walkie walkie around you, around I had on last time. Crikey, wow, this is trousers, right? So let's look at things I've skipped over. This is a headphone amp. It's called a Headbox S, although I'm going to get another one because it's not that good. It's not horrible, but it's really not that good. So I'm going to get a nice one of those. Um, again, I'll run you through that in a later video. I haven't 100% decided on which one. Well, I got a good recommendation from one of the guys at DV247. Um, but yeah, I'll run through that in a later video as I replace that. I have a preamp for a microphone, so it's the, again, just cheap and cheerful. Probably get another one or a microphone. I haven't decided. It's not causing any problems, but theoretically I should do if I'm getting a bit of a microphone and all that jazz. And then the main hub, the main sound card, focus right, Scarlet 6i6. Let's do a little panning shot, expensive shot, right, that's expensive, some sort of like Hollywood shit right there. Right, cool. So also you can do a zoom by moving backwards and forwards, that's pretty good. This is a, yeah, just the industry standard again, the Scarlet 6i6. Does the job, nothing fancy, but again, does the job, looks cool. Again, looking cool is important, and that's why I use it. And then, let's just continue going right. My, arguably my favorite piece of thing in the whole studio, which will freak people out, but it's the Apple Wired keyboard. For whatever reason, I'll maybe do a whole video on it one day. I absolutely love this thing, in all seriousness. It's just a beautiful piece of something. I don't know, I've just got a connection to it. And considering it's the thing you press a lot, in fact, more than probably a keyboard, you want to get the right keyboard. And this thing is just, I don't know, just feel at one with it. It's beautiful. I just want to, just want to yeah, just touch it all day long. Uh, we'll get into that right now, but uh, cool. And then I have a mouse, a razor something or other. Razor, razor, mouse, something, what's it called? Probably got a name. It's one of the standard ones, Chroma. No, it's not a, something Chroma, Death Adder. Yeah, it was a Death Adder. Mouse does the job nice and simple. Wired again, because I'm a huge fan of wires. Wireless is the stupidest thing in the universe. Then there is a, well, in fact, 
got a little iPad stand, you've got an iPhone mount holder thing that I should be using if I want to do iPhone filming, but not important. Then a GoPro with again a little mount that I mounted to the table with, so that's how I mount my GoPro to tables and stuff. Really, really cool thing, nice and cheap and cheerful, but does the job. Got a headphone stand, it's actually wood effect acrylic from eBay, about £14, really, really cool. Then monitors, I have the Tamoy, really dusty, and crikey, look at all that dust. Oh, what's going on? Maybe I'll write something right. Swap hands, right. It's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. It's not, it's not right. It won't write square. It's right. So, dusty, dusty monitors, Tamoy Reveal. Crikey. Tamoy Reveal 601As. Um, check out my video. Let's get down low. Let's get down low. Oh, crikey. Bumped into something again. Right. Again, uh, check out my video on headphones versus monitors for my thoughts on monitors um, in general versus headphones. But yes, these are the ones. I use Tanoi Reveal 601A. And then there is the Complete Control S25. Again, I'm going to point you to another video I did on this on why I hate it, but it looks cool and has some nice feel to it. So sometimes uh, I actually like using it to trigger MIDI parts and stuff. Um, although it's smaller than the 88 key, the keys are a lot nicer in all seriousness. So sometimes it can be quite fun just to mix things up and I'll let you down the parts for that. Also, there's some really cool stuff you can do with the mod wheel. I'll again point you to another video on the Control S25, but yes, that is it. That will live in the studio somewhere, probably in the freeform fun zone, but again, I will show you that in a later video. There is then, 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 then microphone is in this box of bearing a B1 microphone. As I said before, I'm gonna replace that with an Electro Voice RE20. Microphone stand, drink holder, place position thing. Um, also got some Sin7 monitor stands. Basically decouples the monitors from the desk. So theoretically, at least if I was mixing on monitors or doing sound design, you don't get that table vibration happening. So yeah, nice and cheap and cheerful. Again, does the job, looks the part. Two of my many, many hard drives. I have about 15 terabytes of hard drives in total um, for various backups and stuff. Look, complicated, I have so many hard drives, it's a bit ridiculous. But yeah, they are two of them, a four terabyte and a two terabyte. And this is where shit gets a bit ridiculous. Right, on the right, you may have seen it a bit in John Blue over here. Right, on the right, I have I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I just, just don't know where to start with this. I mean, just look, look at that, look at, look at that. What sort of maniac does that? That's gonna take you like three hours to sort out. Oh, fucking hell. I told myself right before I started this studio thing, right, when I take a cable out, I'm gonna label it, organize it, categorize it, and then that happens. Just have to not look at it, probably best. And that is it, apart from one final, or two final things. A Sennheiser HD 650s upside down. Always put your headphones upside down, that's important. And even more importantly, Studio Essential, that's, that's dinosaurs, not giraffes. Mr. Giraffe! And yes, Mr. Giraffe is, of course, in the new studio. Studio Essentials right there. Also doubles as a musical instrument, but really, he's, a, he's the guy in charge. I, I basically just ghost produce. No, other way around. He ghost produces, or Giraffe produces for me. Uh, Mr. Giraffe, fantastic. What do you think about that? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. And that is where we are. In fact, if I do a spin and get on camera, you can probably see how hot I am. Hot in both respects, obviously. Crikey, it is the hottest day in the universe, but that's okay. I'm about to go on a nature walk and I've shown you my studio. I'm gonna spend the next day to two days building this thing because it's a lot more work than you realize. It's probably about two hours, hour and a half at least in getting these desks working. About, I'm just over here then. Yeah, I'm wrong way around, but over here's probably I'm a little better. I think the sun coming in might make me look a little bit more better-ish, or better. Oh, look at that sunlight. Look, oh, I'm blinded, I'm blinded. Right, I'm gonna push through the blindness and, not bash into, what oh, fucking hell, I did bash into something. Right, I am back, right, uh, sorry, right, right, cool. Okay, yes, next two, next, I'm gonna spend, look, I'm getting in the I'm going to spend the rest of the day building this up, at least getting the basics down. And yes, that means tomorrow, probably tomorrow, I'll film the next vlog, just letting you know how I've set it all up as a basis that I can then work upon, make more exciting, etc., etc., etc. 
Also, I have to do the next collab alliance video, so I must try and do that in the next day or two, because I have till Thursday to get that uploaded. So yeah, I really need this to be up and running. Also, because I've only got a few days worth of stuff to do before I do need to start filming and recording, so I need this studio up and running. I need a, almost like a, I need something working that I can then improve upon, build upon, just because well, it's, it's almost my job to make music and make videos, therefore I do actually need a space. I can't spend two weeks thinking about oh, what angle should I put on that, so I do need to get something up and running and that's what I'm going to spend at least the next day doing. Yeah, so good, so good to be here. One of the most beautiful parts of the world, in my opinion, the Cotswolds. Um, great for spins and yes, yeah, a lovely day. In fact, the first day of summer, in my opinion, even though it's near the end of summer, technically according to the calendar. But uh, yes, yeah, so looking forward to it. I'm going to go on a nature walk right now. I may even do some cutting shots of the nature walk. How beautiful was that? I haven't even been there, but due to the magic of editing, I have. So yeah, check out, well, you've already checked it out. Yes, that was a little bit of my nature walk. I'll do a proper nature walk one day. I'm gonna do a whole video doing a proper nature walk, pointing at things. Oh, look at that babbling brook. That's a giraffe, what's a giraffe doing? It's going to be great, but yes, let me now get onto my nature walk, which you've already, which you've already seen, and building this studio because I've got, I mean, look at those cables. I mean, look at those cables. Oh, that's, oh. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I, why, why did I, I didn't have to put them, what, I could have at least organised it into two piles or three. What I should have done is like organised it into like groups of piles, so at least I know broadly. At least I'm protected against surges, I think some bonus. So that's all right, Sw swings and roundabouts. So yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at right now, and I've been multiplier, so yeah, it's a really hot day, but that's okay, that's okay. I can deal with it, and yes, I will see you in part four. Catch you on the flippity flip.